Good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Lakbay. My name is 13.4 and I hope you have a good time today. In the previous episode, we gathered some more resources, some more cobblestone especially, and some more food for our food chest. And then we also started with our mob farm. So let's head there. Show off what we did last time. As you can see, it's over there by the back of the house. And we have here this rather narrow stairway which will improve at a later date. Leading up to this circle above the ocean. I'm thinking of using this as the platform underneath our mob farm. We'll be killing the mobs based on fall damage. So we'll be spawning them up in the sky. And then they'll fall down into onto the platform. They'll die there. So it'll be at least 3 to 35 blocks I think. And then we'll be able to come by from time to time and gather the, the loot from these mobs. Now, just like our house, just like our other structures, I'm planning on mixing up the textures, the blocks that we build this with. So I'll be using some wood to build this with. And then I'll also have some stairs, some slabs. Hopefully we'll be able to mix those up to give this a little bit of depth instead of it just being a flat area over here. So for example, if we have a stack of planks over here, I'm thinking of having it such that we have a block underneath there. And using that to place the rest of the blocks under our platform. Now break this block. There you go. So we'll be using this block and several more like it. So probably one over here. One over here, I think, underneath this block. One reach there. Uh, uh, uh. There you go. And one underneath this direction over here. There you go. So we'll be using that to place the rest of the blocks underneath here. I'm thinking of having it as wood. Then we'll spruce it up with some stairs and slabs or whatever things we might have to make this look slightly better. So here we have our wooden platform under our stone circle. However, it's looking mighty plain at the moment, so I'm thinking of having the center here be even lower. Like have a circle maybe around 9 wide, 9 in diameter, except one block even lower, just so that we have a little more depth here. And then, as mentioned earlier, we'll use some stairs and slabs to give this a little bit more detail, a little bit more depth, a little bit more interestingness to it. All right, let's go do that. In the meantime, though, it's night time once again. So once again, just like in the previous episodes, it's time to try and find a spider jockey. This time, though, just like episode 19, we won't show other mobs or me finding other mobs unless it's actually interesting to show it. So we'll just try to show spiders, spider jockeys. <laughs> Oh, oh, was there a zombie behind me? No, not really. But we are we are getting that quite hard by that zombie over there. Okay. Here, a skeleton as well. Okay. Let's re equip our sword and let's go try and find ourselves mobs. And literally a few seconds after that clip, I got creepered. Interesting. Like, I had just unpaused the game, then I hear the creeper hiss, and I did not have enough time to move away. Wow. <laughs> I did not have a chance to see the creeper, I did not have a chance to hit it. As soon as I unpause the game, it was just his boom. Right. 
time to gather our stuff again. Unfortunately, this also means that we have to get some food from our full pork chop chest. Because we need to we need all the food we can get to fight these mobs and to survive all of those creeper explosions. But that's fine. There's lots of pigs outside. We can still refill those chests and we, we also have around half a, half a double chest or a chest full of just regular pork chop uncooked. Okay, there's our stuff. Let's just make sure that the other creeper doesn't explode on us. Okay. We have a sword. Yes, we do. Let's kill this creeper. Right. So I'm guessing that creeper was actually damaged by the other creeper. Since it got killed in two hits. Right, so time for us to repair our landscape once again. I wonder if we even have our armor still. We might have lost some of our armor during that explosion. Yeah, we, we lost our helmet and our boots. That's fine, I think. But we only have one armor point left. Because in this version of Minecraft, as armor deteriorates, so do the armor it provides us. Which I think makes sense, but it also means that we have to replace our armor a lot more often. But anyway, I'll go repair the creeper hole. Alright, now that it's daylight once again, it's time for us to try and find the center of this circle and continue our build. 3, 5, 7. This is the center over here. We'll dig it out. And then we'll use that to find our 9 wide area. It'll be, it'll be over here. Over there, and then continue with some blocks over here, some more blocks over there. Oops. And then some more blocks over here. Oh, wait. There you go. Some more blocks over here. And then. Last few blocks, and then here we have our nine wide circle. So that is actually looking quite nice already. So we'll now dig out the middle of the circular platform so that we can then continue our build. So here we have our nine wide circle dug out, and we've added some stairs and slabs to make it a little bit more interesting, to make the textures more interesting, and now. We are about to add the Killing Chamber of Sorts where I'm expecting the mobs to drop. So I'm thinking of using slabs here to make it look something like that where we have some slabs up top and then we'll keep digging out the dirt and putting some slabs below them. So we'll do that, then we'll dig out this layer of dirt. Then we'll put some stats below here. Then we'll dig out this layer of dirt below here. put some slabs below that. So this is where I'm expecting the mobs to land. It'll be a 3x3 three three area. 
So we'll be making, we'll be aligning our mob farm such that all the mobs fall into this area. And then we could perhaps put another slab here or a pressure plate maybe. So we could have some water flowing that way if we ever want the mobs to survive instead of die from the fall damage. And then from there, we could easily gather our loot from time to time. Unless there's a creeper maybe, in which case we'll kill it first. But anyway, we now have to think of how we're going to build up in the sky without dying. So I have bad news and even more bad news. First, it's been a month since I have last recorded anything for this series and that's on me, especially since I've started working my full-time job. I haven't just haven't had the time to bring up my energy to record. I've always been so tired after my job, but that's not really an excuse, is it? Other bad news is that as you can see, I've got a massive hole in my front yard. A creeper snuck up on me even though I lit up this area, there still seems to be some areas where a creeper could spawn and kill me. So I'm gonna fill this up with some cobblestone and some dirt and sand. And I'm gonna do my best to make it look like how it used to look, but we lost one of the flowers over here, so... gonna look back at my previous videos and look at how this place used to look, how the pattern of the grass and dirt used to look, see whether we can make it look similar to how it used to with one less flower, I guess. It's kind of funny looking at this place now. I. I was able to return the grass to how it looked like uh, before the creeper explosion, but I don't have the other flower to place here. But the thing is, ever since that last clip, it's actually been several months in real life. I still haven't been able to add anything to my under construction mob farm. And I really haven't touched the game in, well, months. It's interesting to think about when you consider real life, when you consider having something that you want to work hard towards that isn't a game. But the thing is, Life is, well, life and game is a game, but for this game at least, for Minecraft, it's something that is just calming for me. It's something that brings me back to a happy place, it brings me back to a happy time. And looking back at some of my previous videos, looking back at the so far unfinished clips for this video it makes me think that I do want to continue this journey for as long as I can even long after Minecraft would have lost its popularity I want to keep the series going as another part of my life that I am sharing with myself with my friends and to everyone watching this to anyone who might want to watch this so it's like a diary almost thinking about this treasure building here it's like me being able to save all of these memories all of these efforts that I have spent in the last months and being able to save that, being able to have a backup of sorts, being able to see what you were able to do, that just seems so powerful, seems so important to me. And so, now that I am able to spend a little bit of time once again to 
let's spend a few minutes in game again. I think I will play this game again and I will record more episodes. I do look forward to adding more things more than just a pickaxe or leather armor or a piece of redstone or a diamond. I want to be able to make more memories and represent those memories more and, and I want this building and this whole world to be a testament to my journey towards just being a happier person, a person who can look back at their life and say, yeah, I did well. I understand that Episode 20 isn't necessarily the best time to be retrospective, like, it's very early on to be thinking like this, but I also think that sometimes when you're able to look back like this at things that you've done in the past and just reflect, those times, those moments are so important being able to just tell yourself that yeah this is something you did you should be proud and you should be happy that this is something that exists i do wonder about this game lag might be just for this version i hope it's just for this version because the world the world size is tiny at the moment but yeah I look forward to continuing on this mob farm. Again, it's a really simple design, so it shouldn't take more than one episode to make. And yeah, this world shall continue. And I guess I'll see you next time. But for now, as always, the grind continues.